all right so this is what's up um, I'm testing this new magic lantern build it's called the crop wood I don't know what it is just it's just mind-boggling I can't even get my thoughts right because it's just amazing to have live preview in all different sorts of mode including the 5k FRTP all the different 5k modes and the 4k modes this is awesome and even in the 3k mode even though we have a uh, the center cropped inside is at the center we even have the Canon UE controller angle so we can pan to just check the focusing in the different parts of your frame it's just awesome for framing and it's just a game changer so hopefully this test is uh, able to show that how awesome this build is but I'm just gonna do some more tests here and uh, yeah I'll gather my thoughts and let you guys know what I think when I get back on my home studio. Enjoy. Guys, <laughs> after seeing all the footage that I recorded, everything's looking really nice. With the session of one clip, I did record in 3K. For some reason, I got the infamous pink pixels uh, from the focus system. I don't know what that happened. I'm going to have to look at that. But other than that, I'm really surprised with the 4.8 and the 4.5K. And of course, with the 5.2K, which we know that's the on the Dennis build, that's the 5K FRTP with the aspect ratio off. It's got the same pixel density count. There's no difference between Dennis and this crop moods. Uh, the only differences I see is with the layouts, the UE, and just the menu system. Those are the main differences I'm watching, but also the performance, meaning not the actual image quality, but the recording time and even the HDMI. I'm monitoring myself using my Amazon Fire HD tablet, so I need an HDMI, um, what is that called, the, the capture cards. This build allows me to use that cheapo HDMI capture card flawlessly in all the different modes even 1080p whereas with the Dennis build I couldn't use this particular capture card it wouldn't work in 1080p I had to go to the high frame setting mode and then I could see the image outside of my external monitor I don't know what the deal is I'm just glad it's working um, because on the Dennis one I had to use my Camlink 4k capture card which cost over $100 and I use that for my work for Zoom. It's on my main computer. I don't want to use that outside with the camera. So I'm glad my cheap OHD, my capture card is working with this build. So 
definitely so they did something with this new magic lantern build that it's a little bit smoother now it does run a little bit warmer than danny's build but i don't know that be that could be because of the area or the weather a lot of factors can affect uh, you know the temps and record temps and all in all i think this build is really nice it's solid it's reliable and well as reliable as the Denny's was you know it's still magic lantern there's gonna be bugs and just little things that just for no reason whatsoever stop working but um yeah overall i was able to do a lot of shoots and uh yeah it was been a great experience highlight of this build i believe is the real time preview even when shooting in the 4.8 k's and the 5k mode you're able to see the entire frame and it just makes it so easy to frame your shot as you could see in my um, test videos that i just show you all the clips the framing was pretty decent and that's all thanks to the real life preview in the 3k modes and the maybe the 2.8 and the 2.5 you might not get the full real-time view but it is center and you're able to move around the zoom the cropped area so you could focus pinpoint focus but also that's a big deal for framing so all in all for the recording experience this build is way better than danny's but that's not to take anything off from danny because he got things started with being able to record up to 3k on the eos m so i am so grateful to all the devs and their hard workers that are working hours and long nights just making us you know improving the performance of magic lanterns thank you thank you thank you arigato gozaimashita oskare sama deshita it's just awesome what you guys have done in a future video i'm going to be talking about more about my camera settings my magic lantern settings and even with this crop mood um, settings as well as some gear because we all love talking about gear but you'll be surprised how minimalistic how simple my setup is so subscribe hit that little notification bell to let you know when the video does come out but thank you guys so much for watching this test and if you did enjoy it smash that like button thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one happy shootings